how do I put this? <sighs> I may as well just get right into it. And this is just, this is something I'm just now hearing about. New York Times reported, uh, what was it? When is the date on this article? June 19th. So today. Um, I've heard this name before, but I've never heard the story. This is about Brianna Taylor. The reason I haven't heard about this as much, I've only heard the name like once or twice, is because, at least around where I've been uh, with the stories that I've heard, George Floyd has taken up most of um, most of what's been going around. Whether it's the protests that I've heard about, whether it's the uh, news stories that I've heard, articles on Facebook, stuff on Twitter, most of the stuff has been centered around George Floyd. I've heard the name Breonna Taylor several times on Facebook, but I never knew the story. And just checking on Twitter, um, the, the, there's two words right now that are trending. Arrest him. The people are talking about Detective Brett Hankison finally being fired for executing a no-knock warrant on Breonna Taylor. On March 13th, Brianna, a Louisville EMT, was shot eight times in her apartment by three plainclothes police officers who were executing a no-knock search warrant for someone else. Fearing intruders were breaking in, Brianna's boyfriend, Kenneth Walker, a licensed gun owner, fired a shot, and the officers responded with 20 rounds in return. Bring it. You said 26, where was she shot at? I don't know, she's on the grill right now, I don't know. A fatal error that took the life of a young woman who had dreams of being a nurse. Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! As the nation grapples with the realities of racial injustice in the cases of George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, Say her name! Breonna Taylor! Protesters insist her name won't be forgotten. Brianna Taylor now joins a sad list of other women like Sandra Bland, a Tatiana Jefferson, Tanisha Anderson, and Yvette Smith in a tragic roll call, a reminder that black women are not exempt from police brutality. The suspect that police were looking for was actually in custody when Brianna Taylor was killed. Uh, there's been no uh, action in this case, no arrest, no charges, and there is now a huge movement to try to change that, uh, to try to put pressure on Kentucky authorities. There's even a petition that has gathered about 4 million signatures, TJ, trying to make sure Brianna Taylor's name is not lost in all of this action. Now, the New York Times reports and I'm going to quote them here for a little bit. Shortly after midnight on March 13th, Louisville police officers executing a search warrant used a battering ram to crash into the apartment of Brianna Taylor, a 26-year-old African-American emergency room technician. After a brief confrontation, they fired several shots striking her at least eight times. According to the Louisville Courier Journal, the police were investigating two men who they believed were selling drugs out of a house that was far from Miss Taylor's home. 
but a judge had also signed a warrant allowing the police to search Miss Taylor's residence because the police said they believed that one of the two men had used her apartment to receive packages. The judge's order was a so-called no-knock warrant, which allowed the police to enter without warning or without identifying themselves as law enforcement. <clears throat> now, for those of you who don't know, uh, Breonna Taylor was a 26-year-old African-American uh, EMT, or emergency medical technician. She was fatally shot by Louisville Metro Police Department. I'm going to be referring to them as LMPD through this, throughout this video. <clears throat> but she was fatally shot by LMPD officers March 13th, 2020. So, about five or six weeks ago. Three plainclothes LMPD police officers executing a no-knock search warrant entered her apartment in Louisville, Kentucky. Gunfire was exchanged between Taylor's boyfriend, Kenneth Walker, who thought that they were being broken into and like their apartment was being broken into and the officers of the LMPD. As I said before, Walker said that he believed that the officers were intruders. The LMPD fired over 20 shots and Taylor was shot eight times. And LMPD Sergeant Jonathan Mattingly was injured by gunfire. Another police officer and an LMPD lieutenant were on the scene when the warrant was executed. The primary targets of the LMPD investigation were Jamarcus Glover and Adrian Walker, who were suspected of selling controlled substances from a drug house more than 10 miles or 16 kilometers away. So the targets were far enough away where they shouldn't have even been there. Glover had a prior relationship with Breonna Taylor. The search warrant included Taylor's residence because it was suspected that Glover received packages containing drugs at Taylor's apartment and because a car registered to Taylor had been seen on several occasions in front of Glover's house. I can understand um, because they were, knew each other in the past that Brianna Taylor and what was his name? Kenneth Walker. So I can understand, you know, Brianna Taylor and Kenneth Walker being brought in for questioning due to the investigation. But A, bring them in peacefully. Don't go in guns blazing. B, no drugs were found in the apartment. Walker was licensed to carry a firearm and fired first, I'm assuming due to uh, him thinking that the officers were intruders, injuring a law enforcement officer, whereupon the police returned fire into the apartment with more than 20 rounds. According to a wrongful death lawsuit filed against the police by Taylor's family attorney, the officers who entered Taylor's home without knocking or announcing a search warrant opened, with, opened fire with a total disregard for the value of human life. Now, as I said before, this happened shortly after midnight on March 13th, 2020. I am just now hearing about it now because Brett Hankison, one of the people involved, was just arrested. The 
The people involved were Brianna Taylor, who was born in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And uh, she was an EMT that worked at two hospitals. There was Kenneth Walker, who was Brianna Taylor's boyfriend, who lived with her in the apartment. Uh, Jonathan Mattingly, the person that got arrested, who, um, who is an LMPD police sergeant who joined the department in 2000. Brett Hankison, uh, actually no, I take back what I said. Jonathan Mattingly, as far as I know, has not been arrested. I don't know. No, wait, Brett Hankison. Yes, he got arrested. I don't know what I'm saying. Brett Hankison is the one that got arrested. But Jonathan Madley was an LMPD police sergeant who joined the department in 2000. Oh, Brett Hankison. The guy that just got arrested. LMPD plainclothes detective who is under investigation for numerous accusations of sexual assault. And then Miles Cosgrove is an LMPD plainclothes detective. So Brett Hankison, the guy that got uh, arrested, has been under investigation for sexual assault, and he got arrested. I don't know if he got arrested for the sexual assault or what happened with Breonna Taylor. And it says here, the police filed an incident report that was nearly entirely blank. The report stated that Taylor had no injuries, even though she died from gunshot wounds. It also stated that there was n no forced entry that occurred, even though the officers had used a battering ram. The police department said that technical errors led to a malformed report, which in my opinion is bullshit, because how the hell do you get technical errors that... Um, how do you get technical errors that lead to a malformed report of a person who died from gunshot wounds being reported as having no injuries? All three of the officers involved in the shooting were placed on administrative reassignment pending the outcome of an investigation. So, at the very least, they're going to be put on administrative reassignment. And in early June, Louisville Mayor Greg Fisher called for Officer Britt Hankison, one of three officers, to open fire in Taylor's apartment to be removed from the Louisville Police Merit Board, which reviews appeals from police officers in Departmental Disciplinary Madison. Matters. Hankison was one of five members on the board, which consists of three civilians and two police officers selected by the River City Fraternal Order of Police. So he was removed from that. Hankison was removed from that. On June 19th, which is today, three months a after Taylor's killing, Louisville Metro Police Interim Chief Robert Schroeder, or Schroeder, not sure how to pronounce his name, but it doesn't matter. But the Louisville Metro Police Interim Chief sent a letter to Hankison notifying him that uh, Schroeder had begun termination proceedings against him. The letter accused Hankison of violating departmental policies on the use of deadly force as well as violations of department policies. It also cited past disciplinary action taken against Hankison by the department including reckless conduct. So he not only has had the reckless conduct, he has had sexual assault reports on him.
as I've said before, with the other Black Lives Matter um, videos that I've made on this channel, it should not have gotten to this point. It should not have gotten to the point where violence was used. In fact, if, uh, ah, excuse me, if people feel as if they are being respected and treated properly, they're more willing to cooperate. Half of the reason why people, whether they're innocent or not, is a different story, but half the reason why people run from the police is because they feel like they are not being respected. Half of the reason why people feel anxious around the police is because they feel like they're not being respected, they're not being listened to, and the police are abusive with their power or doing way too much with their power. That's why this uh, whole movement about defunding the police has been going around. Let me know in the comment section if you have any other information about what happened with Breonna Taylor and let me know what your opinions are on this shooting about like the whole Breonna Taylor situation. If I missed anything, please let me know. Um, I do want to hear from you guys on this. I appreciate all of your feedback. All of it.